Good morning. I, for some reason, woke up at 5.30 this morning. It's earlier than I normally wake up for work. So, here's my sleeping family in the dark hotel room. And there's our boat getting ready to dock in port. Morning, Miami. Good night, wife. <laughs> Good night, husband. I'm just gonna watch our boat dock in port. Yeah, I tried to go back to sleep, but it didn't work. So I read a chapter of my book. To crawl on the train is really good. She basically gets drunk and murders somebody because they're having an affair because she's mad at her ex-husband. Last night we went swimming in the pool. Rooftop pools are really cold. It's quite breezy. I'm not quite certain what boat that is over there. Or if that's just a dock. There is definitely a boat there, but those string of lights behind it are in the pier. But I'm fairly certain that that other one that's moving is the Norwegian Escape. Has water slides and a ropes course. And it'll be fun. There's a giant TV we can watch movies on. We're gonna go this morning and get breakfast um, somewhere not in the hotel. The kids and us, we had banana splits last night. Well, we watched a movie, and so that was neat. This building over here is interesting. It has like scrolling words on it. Um. So yeah, we went swimming last night, then came upstairs, took a hot shower, had banana splits with any toppings you wanted. And so we had M&M's and chocolate chips and caramel fudge and marshmallows and three scoops of ice cream and a banana. It was such a nice treat. Great way to start our vacation. Um, watched a movie on Lifetime. And I, we read a little bit in our books and went to bed. The beds are really comfortable here at the Hilton. So today on the boat, once we get checked in, after breakfast, we're going to go some to a restaurant and have breakfast, and then we'll, our check-in time is 12.30, but we'll probably head over, over towards the dock at about 11.30. Um, as soon as I can get Wi-Fi, like the boat's Wi-Fi, I can start making our dining reservations on the boat. Um, the Norwegian has moved so far down that I can't even see it anymore. Um, 
And so, yeah, when we get on the boat, we'll head over there about 11.30, get checked in, then go get lunch at the buffet, and go do a round of mini golf, and um, let the kids play on the rope scores while I go to the spa. Um, Jay's upset because I'm going to the spa, but, because he wants to be with me, but he doesn't like the spa, so it's not like we're going to pay for him to get something he doesn't like. Well, I get to babysit. Yeah, so you get to babysit. Aren't you excited that you get to babysit? Show us how excited you are for babysitting today. <laughs> he stuck out his tongue. So... I told him, though, that he can send the girls off to go do what they want once we get the magazine and they decide what they want to do. Um, and then he can go enjoy something that he likes. And then I said if it was his brother, he, his brother would probably go find golf to play. But I don't really know how you're going to do that on a boat. Or a beer to drink. Yeah, he'd probably go to the brewery and drink a beer. A lot of beers. <laughs> okay, you might be right about that. <laughs> Um, so Jay will just have to find his, his thing. He likes trivia and I don't. So that's kind of our time to go. He can go do trivia and I can go to the spa. And then we're going to have French food. If I can get a reservation at the French restaurant this, for this evening. Le Bistro. Le Bistro. Oh look, I see the police boat. The little like blue flashing light down there. Um... At Le Bistro. And, um, what else? We need to do a ship tour. Ship tour and the welcome aboard show. And the, and like, party. Yeah, there's a sell away party and the welcome aboard party late tonight. I'm probably going to need to take a nap, though. Like, I'll probably take a nap in the spa because I woke up at, like, 5.30. And we didn't go to bed last night until, like, after 11. So, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. I probably... She's evil and wakes me up at 5.30. I know, right? How do you feel about being woken up at 5.30? He gave me the pinky, see? I saw Jenny, though. I saw Jenny when I woke up. And I turned on the light. Before the record, turn the light on at five thirty in the morning like a communist. Yeah, I know. But I did try. I did try to go back to sleep, but it didn't work. So I figured I'd wake up and read a book. At least yeah, I didn't. If, uh, if I'm up at five thirty, that means the whole world should be up at five thirty. Yeah. Well, what else am I supposed to do with myself? Pick your nose, whatever it is, as long as you don't wake up the husband. <laughs> wake up the bear. Um, maybe those string of lights are on top of that boat, but it kind of looks like it's stretched between two buildings. Yeah, that's not on top of the boat. It's like behind that boat. Um, but yeah, no, at least I didn't wake up and turn on the TV. At least I kept it quiet. And then once I figured out which light to turn on, it wasn't as big of a deal. So I don't really know what to do this morning, though. Like, because we're going to go out to breakfast. But I don't really want to, like, go to breakfast and then come back. But I don't know if I'm going to make it until, like, 10 without anything. Oh. But I do want to go for, well, I partially want to go for an early morning swim. But I feel like the, that was cold last night and it might be colder <laughs> this morning. So maybe not because the sun's been yeah, down all I'm night. Quite certain we probably free or, freeze our rear ends off. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do that. So, all right, it's embarkation day. Here we go.